see us through. I don't think poor tassels are going to see us through this year, but hey-ho, they're a start on hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie and I run this page, Feminine Interiors. So today I am bringing you a whole new series. So we know that plenty of people are telling us what to wear this autumn, but the question is, what is your home wearing this autumn? So today I'm going to show you my top items from multiple different home stores that I think are staple pieces to your home, not just through autumn, but can carry you through for the year. So here are all the items that I'm going to be showing you today. There are 14 items to discuss with you here. Um, as I said, these are just my top picks. I'm not going to be suggesting you to buy them all, but I'm just going to show you how you can add an essence of autumn into your home using one of these or all of these products. So this is basically going to be like a capsule of all autumn homeware that I want you to try and influence into your home, bringing them warm, neutral tones into your home vibe. I'm so excited to shoot this video today and to explain the products I think you need in your home this autumn. So I hope you enjoy, grab your cuppa, grab your list pad, and let's get going. So first off, I'm going to start with this gorgeous vase from H&M. Everyone and their nan has this on Instagram and there's no surprise really. It is gorgeous. I'm not sure of the name of it, but I call it the donut vase um, because it looks like a donut with a little spout for your flowers. Um, I think it is beautiful. Now, I think it is very autumnal with the warm tones that are on the actual vase as you can see i think it is going to bring that warmth you need in your home if you just want to start adding some warmth i think a vase is the perfect way to start you can also bring outdoor flowers in here you don't have to splash out on flowers or anything i think this would look beautiful with outdoor branches in that you could just snap off your tree and make it very woody and very outdoorsy because autumn is all about bringing the outdoors in and i think this is perfect for that. I think the colours are so warm and so gorgeous. This vase was $24.99 and although I do recommend it for autumn, I don't think you should stop there. I think it is a staple piece for the next 12 months. I think it is gorgeous. You could add your pampas grass in here. You could even add pink ones in the spring. You could put your hydrangeas in. There's literally no stopping with this vase. I think it's a proper classic piece and I don't think it's ever going to date. So if you want an investment piece, $24.99, can you go wrong? Absolutely not. I think it's beautiful. So I would suggest you get in this for your autumn home collection. I think it is beautiful. Yeah, from the vase, if you want to stick with that beige neutral palette, I think this is another go-to piece. So this candlestick holder is absolutely beautiful. These are coming back into, into homeware fashion, thick and fast. I think they are gorgeous. Zara Home have a few which you think are really pretty. And Zara though are a lot darker. This is more of a neutral palette. So obviously if you have picked your neutral vase, this would look really classic against it. I think these are beautiful. So I picked this one up from H&M Home. This was $12.99. I also got church candles from Ikea the other day, as you've seen in my Ikea haul, which will fit perfectly in here. And if you don't want to like them, I think they're perfect to display anyway without it. Now for me, as I say about classic staple pieces, although you are purchasing this for autumn, I do think it's going to be a long lasting item in your homeware collection. And when you are purchasing items for your home, that's what you need to think about. You don't want it to be like a Primark jumper where you wear it once and it gets thrown away. You want these to be investment pieces. That's what I always say about homeware. You don't want to just be buying for the sake of it. So I do think this is something you need to add to your collection. Staple pieces are key if you want to get into styling, if you just want to make your home have a vibe, this is certainly giving you that. Obviously, we've gone for quite a neutral base. This is easy to start with the likes of vases, decorative objects, anything like that is your perfect base. For example, if I was doing this styling unit, I personally would pick a large vase to start my vibe across the board. Obviously, I'm actually not doing a display here, I am just showing you products. But just for future reference for yourself, that would personally be where I would start. So next up, we have, as I like to call it, the cabbage plant. Now, these are so fashionable right now, I can't even explain. I actually think they're called an aubergine tea light holder, but for me, they look like cabbages. Now, HomeSense had so many of these in green last season, and they sold out instantly. I can't cope with how popular these are. They do make me laugh because they're not something you tend to go for. They are so stylish. 
Could you imagine this on like a silver tray with your tea lighting? A tall lamp, a little vase. They are so good. Now this one is a dark brown, beautiful, beautiful autumnal palette that we have got going on here, as you can see behind me. This just adds that depth you want to get the outdoors in. I think it is absolutely beautiful. The, just the shade and the tones on that is fab. I haven't seen a colour tone like this, to be honest with you. And I did clock this one in Home Sense for $7.99 and it is gorgeous perfect for autumn if you already have like a woody woodland um nordic home this would be perfect for like your whole year to be honest with you not just autumn so as i've said before if it's something that you want the staple piece for and this would be perfect in your home for the next 12 months it's definitely a go-to piece and for 7.99 i've actually seen them in hudson home i think for 20 odd pound the white ones Again, they're gorgeous, you'll get away with them for the year as a staple, but for me, I haven't seen one this colour. I might be wrong, you might have, but this was definitely a treasure that I found at home since. So if you are a trend follower, the aubergine is definitely something to have this season in your home. Now during autumn, obviously it's a seasonal period. If you are someone who wants to make that obvious in your home, then this is your go-to piece. Now this autumn leaf is a gorgeous homeware piece. As you can probably tell from the brand, it is from Home Sense and it was $6.99. It is absolutely beautiful. It's only cheap. You can put stuff on top of it, use it as a styling tray. You could pop it in your hallway. You could literally do anything with this. You could pop it in your kitchen. You could pop it like that on display. You could pop it on the wall, put some hooks in it. It genuinely is an all round piece. You could literally do anything with it. You just have to get creative. Now for me, I absolutely love Home Sense's decorative glassware. I think it's always, always accessible through the year. If you're someone who has a passion for leaves for some reason or other, it's definitely something you can carry on through the year. To be fair though, for 6 99 if it is something you're only going to bring out in autumn, I think it's totally worth it. If you went to some other expensive homeware store, I think you're going to be paying much more of a high price for something like this. So to be honest with you, I think I've picked up a bargain and a half. I think it is so pretty. Also, it's got beautiful rose gold tinges in. And I know so many of us this year have added rose gold elements decorative wise into our home. So I think it is perfect to blend with that. So as I say, when you are shopping for homeware pieces, look at the tones in it. If this was a silver leaf and your home is silver and white, similarly to mine, you might want to pick that one up instead. It's still vibing the autumn look, but in your colour tones. This, as I say, is going for the autumnal colour palette that I'm after today. So yeah, I think it is absolutely beautiful. Now we have the decorative leaf as a tray. You can also have this little beauty. Now this is new in the H&M Homeway. I paid, I think it was 19.99, yeah? 19.99 for this. I think it is beautiful. We're so used to the standard glass mirrored trays that we forget about these staple pieces. Now rattan is coming back at no one's business. Like honestly, is a material so in demand right now? It's sort of literally from years ago that they're actually bringing back into fashion, which I never thought would happen. But then again, fashion comes back around and so does styles of homeware, to be quite honest. It has got the wooden outer side and the rattan, which you can see through. <laughs> but it's a fab tray. Why am I shopping? Really, really like this. And again, you can use the pieces that we've already spoke on to hold on to. I won't balance them on just here, just in case that does fall through, because I'm not quite sure. But obviously, we could have that here. Maybe a clear vase with your autumnal planting that you've selected, either from your garden or obviously ones you've picked up. Maybe a faux flower, because the collection this year is huge in shops. I haven't actually discussed flowers today, but... Maybe that's for another video because we could be here for a while. So this is definitely going to be a staple piece this year. I think 2021 we'll be seeing a lot more rattan as well. You've got your wicker, you've got your rattan and I think H&M Home do it perfectly. They never fail with that style. Whenever I see anything with this vibe, I automatically think H&M Home and they have smashed it. They have given themselves a name and they've given themselves a statement style. And whenever you see a product, that is instantly what you think of. So this is definitely a H&M go-to piece. I think that should definitely be in your wish list. It's beautiful. I know a lot of people have the basket that matches perfectly with this. 
if you have you'd be daft not to get this honestly so definitely throw it in your wish list because autumn is here people so i always think as i've spoken before a tray is a staple piece whatever material and finish it may be obviously i feel like that is more autumnal just do the color tone we've got to think of the accessories that are going on the tray you don't want to just buy a tray leave it hanging and there's nothing on it at the end of the day although a tray might be gorgeous what you put on it as well is absolutely key so i have chosen no other than a magnifying glass we've been here before i think a magnifying glass is an absolute staple key you will be silly not to have a magnifying glass in your homeware collection i'm sorry it goes on everything you could have it sitting on top of your styling books you could have it sitting in a tray you could have it just on the side like it's natural just to have there people use i don't know if they've ever noticed when you're looking through home magazines these are literally just throw about on the side it's the same as glasses this makes a shot look so natural. This makes a home look natural. I do think it's something to have in your collection. Very autumnal. Just because of the handle it has. It is a wooden handle. Again, it's dark elements add to the autumnal vibe that we are after. It's from the Amazing India collection. So definitely, if you are popping into HomeSense, that collection might be the one for you. This was only £5.99. Again, cheap as chips. You can't go wrong. A lot of other stores I know sell much more expensive. HomeSense is probably your go-to for key styling pieces that are nowhere near the price you'll pay elsewhere. I mean, I'm not being biased, by the way. As you know, I do work there. But honestly, like, this is why I spend so much money in there. Because I see them in all these expensive homeware shops. And as soon as I see them in work, I literally grab them. You've got to. So, this is definitely something that you need to have in your collection. Now, your home smelling nice for autumn a lot of yours are suckers for pumpkin spice apple cider um what else have we got heritage pumpkin these smells are gorgeous don't get me wrong but for me building up a home collection building up a candle collection i know you want to get that smell but also does it look good Some of these candles are crazy colors crazy smells and they don't give you that homely vibe that you're after now for me this year it was very difficult to get my hands in home sense on the typical autumn candles that you do see a Jo Malone candle although it might be expensive is definitely an autumn go-to piece yeah I've never lit this candle and I've got no intentions of but if you are the type of person who does want an autumn smell in your home then yeah okay go for it but I feel like this is definitely a more stylish piece that is going to last you months. A little disclaimer though, obviously how many times you light it will depend on how the candle lasts, just in case you didn't know that. But I think the Jo Malone's are gorgeous decorative pieces for your home. I love the black ribbon, I love the colour at the front, I love the neutral candle. Like it just fits this vibe, as you can see, perfectly. So when you are buying a candle, it might smell good. That is good, rule number one. But are you going to have a big bulky candle that looks ugly amongst the rest of your scheme? If so, it's pointless. It's pointless buying cheap candles. They don't last and sometimes they're actually useless to be quite honest with you. So I would never pay cheap for candles. So definitely go for an investment candle. Now, HomeSense have a range called Olivia Blake. I'm sure you've seen it on a lot of people's Instagrams. I think this range is a very similar dupe to Jo Malone and they are black faced. I actually wanted to get one for this video, couldn't find one, which is okay. But definitely, they do start coming in a lot during the autumn and winter season, and it smells amazing. Obviously, a third of the price you'll be paying for Jo Malone. But to get that style that you want on your trees that you're buying, you want to be setting a standard of style in your home. And this is an investment piece, like, regardless whether you're going to light it and you want to, like, light Yankee candles. I think Yankee candles are gorgeous, they are probably another go to then definitely do that, but don't just be paying cheap. You know the saying, you pay cheap, you pay twice, and in a candle scent, you're going to be paying four times because they'll be lasting you two minutes. I think candles are now as much as a statement piece as the pieces that I've got behind. Oh my God. So, autumn trend alert. The tiniest vases literally in the world. I can't believe how much this trend has blown up. You will start seeing this. I know you shouldn't... Trends are a tricky one, right? You should, but you shouldn't follow them because trends don't last forever at the end of the day. So when choosing trends, choose them wisely is my advice because such as 
If you're someone who decorates year upon year and you start in the January and you look at Dulux colour of the year and you paint your whole house that colour, but you know for a fact next January that you will do it again, definitely go for it. But if you are someone who is going to pick up a trend that's going to last in the autumn and not through the rest of the year, just don't bother with it. Honestly, do not bother um, because it's not going to last yet. The key to a stylish, sophisticated and affordable home is making sure that you have stapled pieces that are gonna last you a long period of time. It needs to have longevity. That is that is my key. I have a lot of key tips, but there's another one for you. So anyway, trend alert that I think is gonna last a lifetime. Mini vases. How stunning are those? As I say, a trend you're going to be seeing in a lot of people's homes, stuff you're going to be seeing in the magazines are these. Now, I've actually got these from two different shops because I just couldn't help myself. This one was only £2.99 from H&M. I've seen this on a few people's um, Instagram already. And this one was from the White Company. I think it was £6. Yes, yeah, £6 from the White Company. Um, the White Company, surprisingly, by the way, had stunning pieces. The vases they had, like, love the White Company anyway. But when I went in, I thought, oh my God, they've the game on the vases honestly they had beautiful faux flowers um yeah they had loads of stuff i was i was shocked like, i love the white company but they're up in the game let me tell you could have nothing in them gorgeous but the trend that i think i'm stating it now on youtube is gonna be the bunny tails single stemmed inside them so what i mean by that is just one single stem of a bunny tail or maybe two just poking out ever so slightly that is literally such a small decorative piece that is going to emphasise design. It's going to be so stylish in your home to be able to just put little bunny tails. There are so many people now who are doing these faux bunny tails and I think they look gorgeous. You can get them in a full range of colours. I think personally the grey ones that they do would look really good in these and they would be a longevity piece. They would last you the whole year. I think the cream ones, the cream bunny tails would look gorgeous in these. They're so autumnal and they will create a fab vibe. These are honestly such a gorgeous decorative piece. They really are an investment. Only £8 for the two, which I think is really good. And I think they will last you for years because you can change the faux flowers that you have inside of them, which I think is a really fab essence. The tails in these are definitely going to be an interior focus. I said it here first. Um, you could literally have them with nothing in. You could have them with your favourite flowers. But all I'm saying is bunny tails will work really well within these. So I'm definitely going to be styling these. Still staying on the small vases. I couldn't help myself but pick this up from HomeSense. Now, I had already originally picked up the small vases. But I seen this and couldn't resist purchasing it. I think the vibe of it is so autumnal. I am in love with it. The glasses are actually stuck to this piece of wood. The perfect structure, by the way, in height. Got your tall bars, medium and small. I absolutely love that. Like, I love different heights of things. That should be, like, another key principle in your design. Height and multiple heights. This was six ninety nine. Oh, my God. Throwing these things away. So, this was six ninety nine. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, you could have your bunny tails inside this, which you think would look perfect. You would even have different colours. Like if you look at this throw, which I'll explain later, you could pick your three colours from that throw, put your single stem bunny tails in and leave it on one side of the room with your throw like that on your side table. I'm just envisioning it now, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, like every time I do a video, I like get all these ideas in my head and envision this design and I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, I mean, shopping list for me after this is definitely order bunny tails. I think they are a major trend. I did actually want to order bunny tails, but because of where they're from and stuff like that, like they just wouldn't have got here on time, which is a bit annoying. When I do get them, I will throw them on my Instagram. If you're not already following me, make sure you do so you can catch them and you'll be able to see everything that I'm showing you today as well, style. 6 99 can't complain. I am glad I've bought this. If you are someone who had wood in the home, wooden floor, wooden side tables, that really woody autumnal vibe already, this is going to be perfect. If you don't and you are more of a white sheet kind of person, similar to myself, I think I'm going to be spraying this, the bottom of this personally. I think I want to spray it white. You'll still get that grain coming through as well, which is obviously is nice for autumn. Mad how they're all stuck on, isn't it? I'm glad, let's not do that. Cushions. 
I don't think you should have to splash out on cushions all the time, especially at autumn. My key to switching up your style for less would be cushion covers. These are from H&M Home. They've got autumn written all over them. How stunning are they? So this one was 3 99 Bargain prices, you literally couldn't even get that in one bargain probably for the quality. And I also got this one, which was 12 99 a bit more expensive. But I don't know whether you've seen my travel video that I did in HomeSense, but tassels are very in. The something that we're in back in the summer and the something that will be consistently going see us through 2020. See us through. I don't think poor tassels are going to see us through this year, but hey ho, they're a start, aren't they? <laughs> Cushion covers for me are a big investment piece. If you're bored of their interior very quickly, they are a cheap alternative to redesign your sofa. Now for me, I'm going to be popping them on my furnishings. They're going to be on top of the cushions I already have. So say if you have put, bought really expensive duck feather fill and cushions that have cost you 40, maybe even 50 pounds, and you want to just put these on just to change the look, easy, four pounds, 12 pounds, I understand might be a bit more branching out, but I think the design of it justifies the price. But I do think this says autumn. Look at that, that is gorgeous. That does remind me of like the Made in India stuff that we get in HomeSense though. Like it's just a major vibe. It's gorgeous. So H&M do the most beautiful cushion cover collection. I would not compare their cushion cover collection to any other home store. I think if you're after cushion covers, they are the best people to go to. Obviously, they've got their rectangular ones and square ones. They are beautiful. Now, obviously, I picked these up first. Then I managed to get to HomeSense and find the most beautiful throw. And look at them tones. Match it to perfection. If you are designing a room scheme, make sure there is one thing that you love and you can work from. For me, I absolutely love these. I knew that I'd go into HomeSense and find a throw. You're always going to find a throw that matches your scheme in HomeSense. It's just, you just are. So I literally took these with me and found the perfect throw. So definitely if you find cushion covers or likewise other way around if you find your throw first and you think that's autumnal you want to find cushion covers go to H&M with your throw and vice versa biggest tip I can give you is to take your other items with you don't be afraid to whip them out in the shop I always do it I'm like yeah is that tone correct like I'm getting all my stuff out they want you they want your money they want you to buy the stuff so don't be don't be ashamed or afraid to do anything like that I'm always taking my swatches to shops it is what it is, you've got to do what you've got to do. They want your custom, so don't ever be ashamed in shops. I get people who say they don't have confidence to do that. Oh my God, I've got no shame, I'm like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> right, this throw, I did get from HomeSense. It is gorgeous. So it's from the Rocker Home Collection. It's actually been made in Portugal. Um, it is fleecy, it is wintry, and it is also autumnal. That's the perk of this. You buy it in autumn, it will last you through to the winter. Obviously, as I'm saying about buying stuff and about staple pieces, throws might not be something that you are wanting in your home during the spring and the summer, which is absolutely fine. I feel like a lot of people don't have throws during that season. For obvious reasons, it's roasting. Um, so if you are buying a throw, make sure it does last your autumn and winter. And I feel like this would look fab in the autumn winter collection. Um, I believe... This was $16.99, 19 actually. I love the fringed end. Fringe and tassels work so well together. You could have that on the side of your coat. You could even throw your rattan tray on it for display purposes. Or you could obviously hang it over your basket, which is one of my go-to within my designs. I think you can't go wrong with a basket and a throw. I think it always works in a scheme, regardless whatever colour basket you have, whatever colour throw whatever theme, trend, vibe, whatever in your room. A throw and a basket work so, so well together, honestly. So it is a major vibe. And in saying that, I'm going to show you the basket. This basket is gorgeous. It's the perfect wicker that I was after. I love a wicker basket. If anyone's ever seen any of my visual merchandising that I do with wear, this is literally a go-to piece for me. I think it never dates. You could take this through the whole year with you. You could use it for multiple different purposes. And I think it is gorgeous. This one actually is made in Vietnam. It's from the Vietnamese collection. The reason I chose this, it doesn't look like your bog standard wicker basket. I absolutely loved these two rings as handles. I think it is so fab. 
like obviously most makeup baskets just like the sort of hook ones that you just pop your hand in it but i absolutely loved the ring that was on them this basket was 16.99 can you like 16.99 that is a bad joke like that is, that is cheaper than the throw for that now as i say you could put your throw out today i love the way people are putting logs inside them especially if you have a log fire that would look perfect next to it i just am obsessed with that ring element the detail in that right but like can we look at this please and just think how stunning um everyone else probably looking at me like is she all right but that to me is just stunning design i love as well the idea of putting like you know the way on um you've probably seen on people's home accounts where they do flowers in the sink people put autumnal flowers around it so it could be felt or real it honestly dependent but yeah that's just some ideas so sadly that does conclude the autumn homeware capsule collection now i hope you did enjoy it these are obviously all stunning pieces that i've used and that will be perfect staples for your home this autumn as well as carry on the rest of the that tour like i cut myself out the camera lens like it's not even funny Hmm. These are from multiple different home stores. I will try my very best to put them down in the description if you want to grab your hands on any of these pieces. I think they are all beautiful. Like, honestly, that is literally your autumn home in a nutshell with 14 items, I believe there was there. You don't have to get them all. You could literally get one. You don't have to get any. You just might want to take some advice from what I've talked to you about today. Now, I do hope you enjoyed this video. For me, I obviously watch plenty of YouTube videos and I've been watching all these fashion bloggers who are giving me fab advice on what to wear this autumn. So I do hope this gives you an idea of what your home can wear as well. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as again, as I say, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do because you do not want to miss the winter capsule collection. <gasps> Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a winter capsule, obviously within the next month. That's quite scary um, because obviously I want to give you tips on how you can style your home at Christmas as well. So yeah, I'm as grateful as ever for you stopping by watching my video. It means the world. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I can't explain how grateful I feel having you all over on Instagram and having you all here. So as I say, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.